Okay, the piece of steel I'm using for this build is a piece of 3 16 inch 1095. Remember to put a lot of time and effort into your template because if you don't like the template, you're not going to like the finished product. I know this one looks a little weird, but I think you'll understand what I'm doing as I get into it. So this square piece was going to be part of the mounting mechanism, but after a little consideration I just decided to cut it off because it seems like a lot of extra work and I could just use like scope rings to attach it. Now I'm going to make the hilt of the knife from the leftover piece of 1095. It's not really big enough to make another knife with, so I don't want to be wasteful. Okay, the last size drill bit that I'm going to be taking through the hole is a 3 quarter inch because that just happens to be the exact same size as the 20 gauge barrel that I'm going to be mounting the bayonet to.
So after you harden a knife, it's gonna have this kind of cool case hardened look to it. But the next step is to temper it. And before I temper it, I need to get all this scale off so that I can see the steel clearly. When you temper it, you're kind of looking for like a goldish color and you can't really see that with the scale on it. So I'm gonna put it on the belt sander until I get down to the steel and then I'll temper it. Now, I've seen a few bayonet builds here on YouTube before, but I never actually saw anybody mount it to a gun when it was finished. I'm sure it exists, but I just didn't see it. Um, for this, I'm going to be attaching it to a 20 gauge shotgun and just see how it stands up to uh, the recoil. And this is how I'll be attaching it. I have a 20 millimeter rail that attaches to the barrel. The barrel slips through the hole that's in the hilt, and then the scope ring that's attached to the bayonet screws onto the barrel mount. I ended up shooting roughly half a box of shotgun shells through it and I didn't make any adjustments to it while I was shooting it and it's still as strong as it was when I put it on. So yeah, I definitely think this build turned out pretty good in the end and I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.